This just in, the tropical island paradise of Barduba has been hit with a Category 10 Sukano. A Sukano, of course, is when a tsunami encounters an active volcano and turns into a hundred-foot-tall wall of raging lava. Better rest up, Abby, because you'll be on the next partially deflated inner tube to Barduba. I don't have any clean water, I promise I Great stuff, Abby. Now it's time for- What it is, guys? It's your boy, the friendly, portly, Blasphemous HD. And today we are here to check out Cyanide and Happiness. Let's do this. Tonight, penguins. Are they just little men in tuxedos? Our 12-part expose may shock you. Teen pregnancy is on the rise. Are you missing out? Learn how you can get in on the action. The hottest teen hookup spots in the city. What? All of this and more on tonight's News to Me. What? When things happen in the world that are important enough to talk about on TV, well, that's news to me. Good evening, America. I'm Chip Chapley. Teen pregnancy on the rise. Stick around and I'll tell you how you can get in on the action. What type of terrifying shit? Embattled oil CEO Tex Masterson retracts half-hearted apology for the most recent spill in the Gulf. Whoops, didn't Says, mean to. quote, I just hate fish. I fucking hate birds and fish. Fuck them. Fuck them all to death. In crime news, man robs five at Knife Point. Police continue to urge citizens not to visit Knife Point. America, it's one of the good countries, but is it ready to settle down? A Florida man thinks so. Spunky field reporter Abby Babel has more in tonight's top, top story. The man who married America. I'm here with Clayton what Calhoun, the, the man who, in a private ceremony yesterday, married America. Mr. Calhoun, how did these unusual nuptials come about? Well, I was getting drunk underneath my pickup with Zeke and Huel and Roger and Little Rog and Big Zeke and shooting off at the mouth about how much I love America. And Little Rog said, damn it, Clayton, if you love America so much, why don't you just marry it? So I said, fuck you, Little Rog, get out from under my pickup, you dilapidated ass crack. But the next day, I pawned off my first edition of Wuthering Heights and bought America a ring. And have you always been a proponent of same-sex marriage? Uh, pardon? Same-sex marriage. America is a man. America the Beautiful is a classy as fuck lady, Miss Babble. Thank you very much. America is overweight, short-tempered, loves guns, and takes all its friends for granted. America's a dude, bro. What Whoa. about Lady Liberty? What about Uncle Sam? But, but, but... You live in Florida, America's dingus. But I, I, I never, I mean... Mr. Calhoun said the happy couple plan to spend their honeymoon in San Diego, which we all know is America's butthole. This is Abby Babel from Jacksonville, Florida, signing off. Thanks, Abby. You know, I've always thought it was America and Erica, not America and Steve. Is it just me, or does she look like she's taking the world's most gratifying poop on camera? You gotta do what you gotta do. Which part of America would you have sex with? Take our online viewer poll and let us know. <coughs> Old faithful. Opinions. America was founded by men with opinions. Opinions about how to govern and who gets to own land and who gets... It was found our online, not America and Steve. Which part of America would you have sex with? Take our online viewer. 10% say Kentucky. I'd say Old Faithful. Even though she's old, she's obviously still got a pretty smooth ride on her if she can still shoot liquids. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Poll and let us know. Opinions. America was founded by men with opinions. Opinions about how to govern and who gets to own land and who gets to own whom. It's time for Opinions. Everybody has them. Tonight we're joined by two neighbors who have opposing viewpoints about a hot button issue. Timothy Reardon, welcome. Thanks, Chip. You know, the Constitution grants me the right to have and express whatever opinion I want, no matter who it offends. That it does. I remember reading that somewhere. But my neighbor Todd doesn't think I should be able to express myself and my opinions. We're joined now by Todd Stansberry. Todd, why can't you accept Timothy's opinions? Because his opinion is that he should murder me. Interesting. Timothy, you want to murder Todd? Yes, Chip, that's right. I want to kill him with a knife. Or maybe a gun. And this opinion offends you, Todd. Uh, yes. I live every day in fear for my life! Why can't you just live and let live? That's the point! He doesn't want to let me live, he wants to kill me! With a knife! See? Or a gun. Now, the argument extends beyond your opinions, Timothy, and also into how you express yourself through clothing, correct? That's right. He says I wear symbols and imagery that offend him. 
Todd, is it possible that you're taking these symbols and imagery out of context? His shirt has a picture of me with a knife through my head and the words kill old Todd Stansbury's. Hey, 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 but he wears a shirt I don't like, too. He has it on now. Is this true, Todd? Yes. It says if I end up stabbed or shot, it was definitely Timothy Reardon that murdered me. Todd, can you really call someone a murderer without being a murderer yourself? Yes! Thank you, gentlemen. You have given us a lot to think about. Down at Knife Point, life goes a little slower and ends a little sooner. You know, some say the lifeblood of America runs through Knife Point and all over it as well. So grab yourself a one-way ticket to Knife Point today and treat yourself to your last vacation. Please be aware that almost everyone gets stabbed at Knife Point USA. Please consult your doctor before visiting Knife Point. Knife Point is not a safe place for children or anybody. This message brought to you by the Knife Point Tourism Board. Welcome back. I'm Chip Chapley. One neighbor who wants to murder the other and another neighbor who doesn't want to be murdered at all. Two differing opinions, each with subtle nuances. Who can say who's right? In America, no one can. I'll leave you with this parting thought. If you as an American can't kill the people that bother you just because you want to, well... <laughs> That's news to me. Good night. What? What is he sleeping on his... What? Tonight, is someone listening in on your phone calls? Probably at least one person because you called someone instead of texting them and that's why everyone hates you. And how young is too young to start drinking alcohol? This drunk baby's inspiring words may surprise you. All of this and more on tonight's News to Me. With your host, winner of the 1986 Little Mr. Mustache pageant, Chip Chapley. When there are world events that aren't shared on Facebook by your racist aunt, well, that's news to me. Good evening, America. I'm Chip Chapley. We begin tonight with entertainment news. Nostalgia-based reality TV program I Love the Teens has been taken off the air amidst controversy over the show's title. The show's producers and networks say they understand their mistake and will rework the show under the new name, Grown Men Can't Get Enough of Those Sweet, Sweet Teens. If successful, they plan to follow it up with the spin-offs Teen Meat, a tribute to the best sausages cooked in the current decade, oh! and Sweaty Underage Teen Sleepover, what? a documentary about newly formed summer camps for at-risk youth in Arizona and Nevada. Can drinking bleach actually kill you? We asked our viewers to test this popular urban myth, and so far not a single one has called in to say they're dead, so <laughs> drink up. Now it's time for Chips Trips. This is Abby Babel reporting live from a tanker ship full of starving refugees. Thanks for filling in on Chips Trips, Abby. I just couldn't seem to get away this week. Right. Ship, these refugees have been holed up in the bottom of this ship for weeks as they seek asylum from the cruel dictatorship of their home country of Soldavia. Without food and without an end in sight, violence has begun to erupt. Sounds awful, Abby. Hey, is that toxic waste I see in the background? Uh, that's right, Ship. Yikes. That sucks. Yeah, it does, Chip. It sucks bad. Oh! <laughs> Better get some aloe on that one, Abby. Next week on Chips Trips, I'll be jetting to the tropical island paradise of Barduba. This just in, the tropical island paradise of Barduba has been hit with a Category 10 Sukano. A Sukano, of course, is when a tsunami encounters an active volcano and turns into a 100-foot-tall wall of raging lava. Better rest up, Abby, because you'll be on the next partially deflated inner tube to Barduba. I don't have any clean water, I promise I Great stuff, Abby. Now it's time for Chips Clips, the segment where we air popular viral internet videos without paying the creators in order to fill time. The internet. It's full of videos of emotional and tearful reunions between brave soldiers and their faithful dogs. This viral clip takes that same idea, but does it more and better.
Rusty had enlisted in the armed service and shipped out the Middle East. For months, Jim waited by the door for his buddy. The day came when Rusty returned home. What happened next will amaze you. Rusty was blown up when he mistook a landmine for a frisbee. Rusty received the, na the nation's highest canine honor. The purple, very good boy. Oh. Yep. I'm crying, but you just can't see it because it's on the inside. Funny as always, Internet. Keep it up. Bad things. Sometimes they happen to good people. Sometimes they happen to bad people. Sometimes they happen to people that are so far away from where you live, it's hard to imagine they're people at all. Sometimes they happen to dogs. Dogs who are good boys, and that's sad. When bad things happen, they can make you feel bad, or they can make you feel good because you're glad the bad thing didn't happen to you, and then, well, you feel bad about that. Sometimes bad things happen on boats. So many bad things are happening all the time that the world can seem like a bad place, and, well, it mostly is. And we each have to ask ourselves, how much bad stuff happening in the world do I even want to know about? Well, if you're watching me right now, then you've already answered that question with an emphatic, I want to know about some of that bad stuff, maybe even a lot of it. But if taking solace in the fact that while most of the world is suffering, I get to drive a nice car, live in a nice house, and fall asleep on a comfy couch while watching a TV so large that it's an affront to God himself is wrong, well, that's news to me. Good night. Best outro ever. Best out- What? Why are you doing that? Tonight, reverse furries, animals that dress up as humans are getting jobs, buying homes, and settling down. What? Could you be married to a gazelle and not even know it? States, are there too many of them? One lawmaker thinks so, and he's proposing a radical new map for the USA. Oh, All of this and more on tonight's News to Me. When global conflicts can't be summed up with a trending hashtag, well, that's news to me. Good evening, America. I'm Chip Chapley. Dennis Traversonsley of Knoxville, Tennessee, who entered into a coma at age five, has awoken after nearly 30 years. He told his doctors, I'm a big grown-up now, I have muscles, I'm going to marry a dinosaur and be the president. Hey, he's got my vote. Ah. In culinary news, a new French restaurant is making waves by serving food that tastes terrible going down, but tastes great coming up. Le Bebe Wasso is the brainchild of Master Chef Pierre Jambongion and a crow named Gus. When reached for comment, Gus simply said, Balk. In tragic news, Wide Kerning kills three at a slow reading contest. What? Women. Some people are one. Some would say it's almost half of everybody. Others would argue it's nearly 50%. The science is still out, but what's for certain is women are here to stay. Here to discuss the issues that face women in America today are the members of the Senate Judiciary Committee on Women's Issues. Gentlemen, welcome. Thanks, Good Chip. Thank, Thank you, Chip. Thank you, Chip. What are the most pressing issues facing women in America? Finding a dude who's rich, but is also stupid enough to fall for her bullcrap. <laughs> think of. Interesting. So what is the purpose of your committee? It's a PC thing. You know, if there's gonna be a men's rights committee, there has to be a lady version. A blah, 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 liberal garbage. Hmm, I can't help but notice that there aren't any women in your group. Well, you see, we wanted to make quick decisions without being emotionally encumbered. Like a bench. Women tend to overthink the simple issues. Uh-huh. Joining us now is News to Me's own Abby Babble. Abby, you're a woman, right? That I am, Chip. And, as a woman, I am deeply concerned that these men are- Oh, come on now, Chip! Control your woman! She's hysterical! That these men are legislating on women's issues like health care when they don't seem to have a full understanding of a woman's biology, much less- She must be on her monthly! Better put all your food in a tree before a bear shows up! It attracts bears, you know. <laughs> 
I'm gonna use that. Hey, everybody, make sure to hide your food in the tree. This dude is on his period, and it's probably gonna attract bears at some point. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Much less the complicated nuances of issues like safe access to abortions. Now, now hold on, uh, 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 bitch. We're only interested in making abortions illegal for those individuals that would abuse the privilege. Women, specifically. Goddamn right, bitch. It'll always be legal for a man to get an abortion. And coverage for pre-existing conditions which... Pre-existence is before Genesis, which means it don't count. I will not have my religious freedoms attacked by this tempestuous Jezebel. Which, Jesus ah! fucking Christ! You shriveled, sagging ball bags. You don't have a clue about women or women's issues. Uh, um, uh, uh, shriveled, sagging ball bag is a serious medical condition that affects uh, 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 many men today. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why I'm sponsoring a new bill to allocate $1.6 billion for essential therapeutic testicular tightening and smoothing for sufferers of SSBB. I mean... These octogenarian prune dicks are deciding what's best for women? Uh, I also suffer from prune dick. Oh, fuck. I suffer from prune dick as well. And prune balls. One time I actually injured myself trying to iron out the wrinkles of my scrotum. I made the mistake of thinking that an iron had to be hot for it to smooth it out. On the bright side, my balls are as smooth as eggs now. There's no bumps or a random patches of lumpiness anymore but now it's just one it's just you know it's like the earth flat i also suffer from prune dick the oh, fuck back to you chip hmm no my fellows are fine huh oh okay thanks abby more after this do you have an old cat is it maybe about to be a dead cat does that make you sad Amber alert. Who's Amber? Hey, Amber. I saw you ordering a chai latte at the coffee shop, and I got a really good vibe from you. I think we would hit it off. Text me, and maybe we can hang out sometime? No pressure. Bye. With Uncle Schrodinger's magical cat box, you can take the guesswork out of caring for your aging kitty. Hey, sorry if I came on too strong with the first Amber Alert. I just think you got this cool look about you, and I bet we could get along really well. So, uh, text me if you aren't too busy. Just place your geriatric feline friend in our patent pending, soundproof, smellproof, airtight, and water resistant box. What the hell, Amber? Why haven't you texted me yet? What's your deal? You think you're too good for me? This is how 90% of dudes text females, man. Please, dudes, don't do this. If you text her and she don't text back, don't send no more texts. If she ever is thinking about sucking on something, she'll text you. If she don't text back, then just start, go on to the next one. Always be rotating females in and out, man. You gotta be a hee-ho. Ho, 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 ho. For me? Come on, I have to do this entire system for you. I, I love you, Amber. Mm. Text me, come don't on. Don't do this, don't do this. Bye. Is your cat alive? Maybe. Is it dead? Could be. Can you ever be certain? Never. It's scientifically impossible. The cops have my mom's house surrounded, Amber. This is your fault. You did this to me. You could have stopped this if you texted me, but you did it because you don't care. My blood is on your hands, Amber. Last chance. Text me. With Uncle Schrodinger's magical cat box, you never have to say goodbye. Just say, get in the box. Hey, Amber, silly me. <laughs> I typed in the wrong phone number, so that's probably why your text didn't get through. Uh, here's the right one, so uh, text this one, and yeah, stay cool, girl. Bye. Uncle Schrodinger's Magical Cat Box is a subsidiary of Crazy Pavlov's Jewel Troughs. Welcome back, I'm Chip Chapley. Men and women are very different, or possibly not very different at all. Franklin Roosevelt once said, men are from Mars and women are from Venus. Women have boobs and men have a penis. Well... He was wrong and stupid, and that's why he's dead. And that's news to me. Good what? night. What? <laughs> Tonight, climate change. Every scientist says we're making things worse, but some people are like, nah, uh wasn't us, didn't do it. The debate rages on. 
Real estate with sea levels rising will tell you which flyover states are about to have prime beachfront property. Wildfires. Everyone knows they're cool, but one California crematorium owner says they're driving him out of business. All of this and more on tonight's News to Me. When nature asserts its dominance and callously destroys mankind for his hubris, well, <laughs> that's news to me. Good evening, America. I'm Chip Chapley. In extreme weather news, Hurricane Poo Poo Pants has been upgraded to a Category 4 storm and continues to decimate the coast. A spokesperson for the National Weather Service said, We'll never let an elementary school hold a contest to name a hurricane ever again. Authorities have urged everyone in the storm's path to seek shelter and under no circumstances stand out in an open area. Now, standing out in an open area is field reporter Abby Babble. Abby? Thanks, Chip. This is Abby Babble, live on the scene with... What's that, Abby? Speak up. I said I am live on the scene, Chip. Things are bad out here and getting worse. I can't even... I'm sorry, Abby, I can't hear you. Can you try projecting from your diaphragm like this? Wah! That's it, Abby. Keep practicing, and we'll check back with you later. Climate change. Some people don't believe we're the cause, and some idiots don't believe in it at all. I'm joined now by one such idiot, climate change denier, Trent Coombs. Trent, why don't you believe in climate change? You've got it wrong, Chip. I don't believe in climate. Climate? Like, climate? Exactly, Chip. This whole thing's a hoax. Weather is a conspiracy perpetrated by the Illuminati Council of Subterranean Lizardmen who secretly run the One World Government. Weather is a hoax. Yes. Certainly you felt the wind blowing on the way into the studio, Trent. What do you think wind is? Invisible holograms. And rain? Wet holograms. Indulge me, Trent. What do you think people make snowmen out of? Snow is a mass hallucination brought on by the blue dye in mom jeans. Chip, look at this model of the Earth. See what happens when I pour rain on it. I don't see any flooding. Do you, Chip? And what about this wind? Oh, I guess that's it for Earth. We all got blown over. You see how idiotic this is, right, Chip? No, I see exactly how idiotic this is, Trent. Now, to prove this hoax cane is nothing more than a government cover-up to conceal the great lizard man migration, I will venture out into the storm. Ugh, painful holograms. Yep, there you go. Well, did you get what you this just about? in, Hurricane Poo Poo Pants has already decimated some 500 homes and claimed 11 lives. Authorities are urging that all citizens make no attempt to venture out into the storm. Now let's check back with Abby Babble out in that storm. Abby? Thanks, Chip. The waters continue to rise and... Abby, is there anyone you can talk to out there? Anyone who can give us their perspective on the storm? No! Chip! <laughs> Everyone evacuated. No one wanted to be killed by Hurricane Poo Poo Pants. Makes sense, Abby. You know, if they had called it something cool like Hurricane Awesome Flaming Death Skull, I bet people would be lining up to die in it. More after this. Hi, I'm Randy Bambos from Randy Bambos. Tonight, News to Me is proud to present a special presentation honoring a very special presenter of the news who is especially precious and presently present, Chip Chapley. When a stipulation in your contract states that the network either has to give you a 20% raise or an entire episode dedicated to massaging your ego, well, that's news to me. Good evening, America. I'm Chip Chapley. Tonight, we're going to go on a journey, a journey into me. And the destination? Chip Chapley. We begin with a look at some of my favorite clips from this year. It's time for Chip Chapley's Clips Fastly. 
Good evening, America. I'm Chip Chaplin. Yes, Chip. That's right, Chip. Chip's trips. Come on now, Chip. Back to you, Chip. It does, Chip. 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 Thanks, Chip. Chip. I'm Chip Chaplin. That really says it all, doesn't it? If there's one thing that being an award-winning newsman has taught me, it's that I have a lot of wisdom. And the wisest thing you can do is help others learn. And if there's only one thing I've learned, it's all knowledge. It's time for Chip's Tips. Chip's Tip number one, if your mustache gets accidentally burned off at a barbecue, save face with a temporary stash. Try using dry leaves, barbecue sauce, or a hot dog. Chip's Tip number two, prostitutes are cheaper by the hour than licensed therapists, and it's okay just to talk to them. Chips tip number three, you can't make someone love you. No, you can't. You just can't. Unless you have a very, very, very powerful gun. Can you, Dad? No. Uh -huh. I bet you feel smarter, don't you? Well, hold on to your brain ass, because here's a bonus Chips tip. If you're running a marathon, put band-aids on your nipples to prevent chafing. This is also a great tip if you cut yourself while shaving your chest hair to make it look like each of your nipples has a little mustache. That's it for Chip Snip Tips. Who is Chip Chapley? Is he a finely coiffed head of stunning hair? A supremely groomed machismo-soaked mustache? A name so sharp you could use it to cut a diamond into smaller diamonds? No, those things are just the handsome and charismatic costume I wear in order to more effectively bring you the news. In fact, Chip Chapley isn't even my real name. Please enjoy this clip from my earliest days as a newsman. Good morning, City Tropolis. Hi, I'm Lionel Poops and Farts. Today in the cafeteria, they'll be serving meat cakes and meat juice with corn parts. So if you brought your lunch, congratulations. Ah, Lionel, you've got real potential as a newsman. Your mustache is even starting to come in. Thanks, Mr. Teachman! But you're never going to get anywhere in broadcasting with a name like Lionel Poops and Farts. You need to think of something snippy. Something snappy. Like Snip Snapply? Eh, not quite, but you're on the right track. Right trackly? No, no, that's much worse. Keep trying. You'll think of it eventually. Good morning, City Tropolis. Hi, I'm Fink Vinchley. Yesterday's meat cakes has sent a record number of students to the nurse with projectile vomiting and turned the bathrooms into a veritable war zone. Now in the bathroom is field reporter Abigail Babigail. Abigail? <laughs> I think eventually that young man settled on a different name. As to whatever happened to Abigail Babigail, I have no idea. Who cares? Segments. They're the reason I say several things in a row relating to one topic, and they're great. But like all great things, sometimes they're terrible. Here's a tribute to my favorite canceled segments from News To Me's past. Careers. They're like a job, but longer. Throughout my career, I've interviewed presidents and popes, celebrities and serial killers. I've met thousands of fascinating people and told you their stories, but none of them have actually met me. None of them know my story. Do I even know it? <sighs> this will be my final news to me broadcast as Chip Chapley. <coughs> Good evening, America. I'm Lionel Poops and Farts. Wow, this is liberating. I feel like I can breathe for the first time. Yeah, I'm this fired. is my contract. So what? Yada yada. The talent heretofore referred to as Chip Chapley, blah blah blah, trademark wholly owned by the News to Me Corporation, uh, et cetera, et cetera, will forfeit all earnings retroactively. This says if I don't continue to be Chip Chapley, I have to repay my salary. Yep. For the last twenty years. Yep. With interest! Oh, God, come on now! Why are you... Oh, I can't even... Well, I guess there's only one thing I can do. But put the mustache back on. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
Welcome back, I'm Chip Chapley, and if I'm going to be held hostage by my contract and forced to put on a fake face, a fake voice, and read you the fake news, just so that I don't go to debtor's prison, well, <laughs> that's news to me. Good night, everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to comment, like, and or subscribe. It's your boy Blasphemous HD, Twizams.